would like um it's my pleasure to introduce to you our speaker. He's a creative entrepreneur and a graphic designer by profession. He's the founder of Wealth Educator Circle, a financial literacy advocate since 2009. So he's really an expert uh, in sharing this topic to you. So let me help welcome Coach Nolz. Again, uh, our topic for today is cash flow. 101 or creating financial wealth. So, di ba, have you ever wondered, no? Um, kung baga, paano nga ba, no? How can I create financial wealth? Or, or probably, no, may mga nagawa tayo before na unknowingly na, uy, ayos pala, pwede palang uh, kumita sa ganito or pwede pala akong mag-earn um, using these kinds of uh, tools and, and, and ideas. No? So, um, later, we'll be discussing, no, um, those kinds of things. So, um, Stay tuned and, uh, you know, um, fasten your seatbelts. Right. So, um, again, um, I'm always sharing this to you because this would be uh, in reference to what we're doing um, all the time. No? So, in, in um, again, our goal here is to educate uh, 30 million families by 2030. That's why, as much as possible, we always go back to what's the basic, we always go back to our foundation, which is yung um, solid financial foundation. And with that one, um, itong topic natin ngayon um, will mainly uh, uh, discuss dun sa increasing cash flow, right? As much as possible, our aim no, is to increase our cash flow all the time. No? Probably nagkakaroon tayo ng bonuses, probably nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, additional source of income. But eventually, no? Um, as our income increases, of course, yung vision natin for ourselves increases as well. No? Na parang, uy, uh, nag-increasing income ko, so I can, kumbaga, have that ability no? to probably purchase more, to go on a vacation much more grander than the previous one, and stuff like that. So our, technically, our, technic our goal is increasing cash flow. And it's also part of the financial uh, foundation, yeah. Ayan. So, ano, mga, ano nga ba ang cash flow? Uh, what is cash flow? Cash flow, ang ibig sabihin yan is cash that comes into, oh sorry, baliktad, into or goes out of a person's or company's account. So, kaya siya tinawag na flow, no? parang uh, sa river, di ba? Um, into and going out. So, it, it flows. no? So, that's what you call cash flow. Um, ang tanong na lang dyan is, does your cash flow go into your account or your pocket or does your cash flow go out okay of your pocket right so you have ano, ano, uh, you have that thought to ponder no no parang mo, okay so sa, sa status ko ngayon financially no ang pera ko ba is papasok o palabas di ba minsan di natin na, di ba may uh, to, to, na lang no Di ba meron kayong mga moments or meron ba kayong moments in time na tipong, for example, kakasweldo nyo lang or kakatanggap nyo lang ng, uh, um, ng income or, or business uh, business income or business profit. no And then, after a while, tinatanong mo sa sarili mo, saan ko siya ginastos? Or, di ba, saan siya napunta? <laughs> unknowingly, unknowingly, di ba? Um, nagastos mo na pala on, on, on minor expenses up to the point in time na pagdating nung day na mag-wonder ka na, okay, saan ko nga ba ginastos yung kinita ko? San, nasaan na nga ba? Di ba? <laughs> May mga ganun instances ba kayo? No? Yung di ba, ayan, sabi ko ni Jury, anyari, di ba? Anyari dun sa, dun sa kinita ko, right? So, yun ang cash flow. Into, goes into and out of, out of your uh, pocket. So, uh, again, there are two ways, no? There are two ways uh, to increase your cash flow. So, we'll discuss one. Um, so, the two ways are, it's either you manage your expense or you earn additional income. Okay? Manage expense or you earn additional income. Kasi, um, automatically, pag sinabi natin cash flow, ang una nating iniisip is, or increasing cash flow, ang una nating iniisip is, saan ako pwedeng kumita pa? Okay? Saan ako pwedeng Ano pa ba ang pwede kong gawin para kumita ng extra, di ba? Automatic yun ang mindset natin. Pero hindi natin alam, pwede pala na mag-increase yung cash flow mo 
when you learn how to manage your expenses. Okay? So, pwedeng kumita or pwedeng mag-increase yung cash flow mo pag na-manage mo yung expenses mo. So, today, that's what we're gonna be talking about sa so, part 1 ng ating cash flow is more on managing your expenses. Diba? Wala naman problema. No? Walang problema mag-earn ng income. Walang problema na talagang kumuha ka ng extra, extra income uh, whatsoever based on your capability. But, it's also important no, na ma, ma, matuto tayo mag-manage ng expenses. Diba? Malaking bagay din yan. Alright? So, later we'll be diving in more dun sa managing uh, expenses. No? So, okay? Uh, ano ka ba dito? No? Ikaw ba ay letter A? No? You save muna and then you spend afterwards. No? For example, yung bilog na yan, that's your income. Okay? You save first and then you spend yung natitira. Or ikaw ba si letter B? Na ganyan yung itsura ng income mo. Okay, you spend muna. Okay, uh, okay ito, ito yung mga gastusin, ito yung bills and everything. And then kung matira, yan yung, okay, hindi na nga yan save eh. <laughs> Ang tawag na nga lang dyan is attempt to save. Kasi madalas, okay, pag nandyan ka sa B scenario, okay, yung attempt na yan, Minsan, attempt na lang siya. Okay? Hindi siya na ma-materialize. Okay? Yung tipong, ah, sige, uh, di ba? Minsan, iniisip natin, ah, sige, pagka nakuha ko yung sweldo ko, um, ito isa-save ko. Sigurado isa-save ko to. And then, pag nandyan na, ah, yan, sige, gagastusin mo dito, and then, and all. And then, may matitirang konti. And then, kaya siya attempt to save, kasi di ba, minsan, may scenario tayo na, ako, meron pa akong 500 na natitira or 1,000. Ang liit naman ito para i-save ko, di ba? Gastusin ko na lang kaya. Next month, na lang ako mag-iipon. Di ba? <laughs> Minsan ka na, eh. Um, ako, uh, to be honest, uh, I, I had uh, that scenario before na tipong, ah, maliit na lang itong natira. Let's say 500 pesos, 200 pesos. It's a night tabi mo, di ba? Gastusin mo na next. Sa susunod na lang, sa susunod, sa susunod na lang ako mag-iipon. Right? So, minsan, ganun, attempt to uh, save, no? So, ang goal natin is find ways to save more and spend less. Okay? Basically, that's, that, that's the logic or that's the idea behind managing your expenses. Okay? Save more and spend less. Okay? Kaya yung ano, yung pag nag-grocery kayo, di ba? Pupunta kayo sa save more, hindi totoo yun. <laughs> Minsan na mapagastos ba kayo lalo, di ba? So, Umaga, we have to be wise, no? We have to be wise to save more and spend less. Alright? Ayan. So, ano ba yung tips? Okay? Tips to manage expenses. Ayan. So, I hope, no, may matutunan tayo dito sa mga tips na to. Number one. Okay, make a budget. Okay, gumawa ka ng budget mo. Alright? Um, it's up to you whether you're comfortable with the budget, uh, per weekly budget. Okay? It's up to you kung okay, okay sa yun. Kung gusto mo weekly budget, okay, eh, yun nga, uh, it's up to you. Meron naman may mga tao na they make a budget based on their payslip. Like for example, kunyari, ang, 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 ang income nila or ang salary nila is every 15, 30, dun sila nagbabudget. So bi-monthly sila nagbabudget. Pwede rin yun. May mga tao na nagbabudget monthly, May mga tao na nagbabudget quarterly. Okay? So, again, either way, pwede, whether mag-budget ka ng weekly, monthly, uh, quarterly, or bi-monthly, as long as you have a budget, okay, and sundan mo yun. Okay? So, that's one way of, of uh, managing no, your expenses. Number two, yan. Bato-bato sa langit. <laughs> Stop. Okay? Purchasing based on impulse. Okay? Kung ikaw, no? Yung tao na na-stress ka lang ng isang beses. Okay? Pupunta ka na sa Lazada. Pupunta ka na sa Shopee. Di ba? Huwag. <laughs> Huwag mong gagawin yan. Okay? Um, sabi nga dito, di ba? Ang Shopee at Lazada ay hindi isang uri ng investment 
firm. Ayan, iwasan ng buwan ng pagpasok ng pera dito. Ayan, nako kaya kay Miss Manny Wise. So, thank you so much. Uh, plug-in ko din si Miss Manny Wise. <laughs> okay? So, hindi po siya investment firm. Ha? Iwasan po natin ang pagpasok ng pera. So, yan. If you think, no, if you think, eto ano uh, para uh, ano na discipline lang no um, if you think na meron kang parang impulse or meron kang sort of a uh, kumbaga buying habit na tipong ah na stress ako i need something parang stress reliever or what um kahirapan mo yung sarili mo no pwede mong i kaya mag-delete ka ng app or delete mo yung Shopee or Lazada na app para pag kami urge ka mag-purchase Parang papahirapan mo yung sarili mo na pupunta ka pa sa, sa browser mo, magsasearch ka pa, di ba? Instead na nasa app na lang. So, that's one way. Right? But there are many ways. No? There are many ways. So, uh, again, stop purchasing based on impulse. Yan. Marami po akong kilalang ganyan. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else? Yan. Number three. Yan. Limit or pay off debts in full. Ayan. Limit or pay off debts in full kasi um, the more that you have debts, di ba, dagdag bayarin yun eh. Instead na yung yung ibabayad mo, di ba, pang ano mo na, pang, pang tabi mo na at pang ipon mo na, uh, di ba, sayang. No? So, as much as possible, i-pay off mo na agad yung debts mo. What else? Ayan. De- develop alternatives to spending money. Uh, kami usually, uh, me and my wife, we usually do this, no? Uh, minsan, uh, dati magyaya kami na tara, ano, let's, let's go to the movies. And then, syempre, pag nag-movie ka, aside from yung movie sa, yung, yung, yung pinangbayad mo, no, sa movie, before yan, before pandemic, no. Uh, syempre, may, 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 may food ka pa, may snacks ka pa, may popcorn ka pa, may drinks ka pa, and all those things, no. But, uh, you know, eventually, as, as you, parang have alternatives, parang, oh, may Netflix naman, eh, di ba? O kaya, may, <laughs> may uh, ano to? afford the box eh mo may afford the box dito <laughs> o kaya ano TV plus di ba may ganun naman no so live ano ba uh, mas tipid pa yun tapos cook at home di ba mas makakatipid ka so develop alternatives to spending uh, money what else yan obtain adequate health insurances kasi um, health is one thing that can you know that can help uh, that, that that can uh, bring us to death, no? Um, because, pag yeah, nga, may kasakit, di ba? Automatic, kung wala kang health insurance, you will pay uh, outright, right? So, hindi ka na nakakaipon. Instead na maipon mo yung fund mo, pinabayad mo sa health insurance. So, yeah, those are just the, uh, a few tips, no? But, uh, again, there are many tips out there uh, that can help you manage your expenses. Um, I think the only thing that I can leave with you is, basically, if you want to manage your expenses, you have to look at your discipline. Okay? Kailangan titignan mo kung gano'n ka baka disiplina sa pagsunod ng budget and sa uh, pagtingin mo sa goal mo at bakit mo kailangan di ba, mag-purchase ng uh, mga gano'n bagay. Alright? So, yan. Let's move on. Ayan. So, areas to, to re-evaluate uh, to find money to save. Ayan. So, for example, pwede kayong gumawa ng ganitong chart nyo, no? Um, um, yeah, at a piece of paper or gusto niya sa Excel or sa Google Sheets. Yan, lagay niyo dyan. Items to evaluate. Okay? Frequency per month and then total cost. So, yun yung mga columns nyo. No? Items to evaluate, frequency per month and then total cost. Para makita nyo, okay, ano ba yung mga items na binibili ko? Ano ba yung mga uh, unnecessary purchases ko na pwede ko pang bawasan? Okay? So, for example, um, lattes, uh, milk tea, yan, ay, may plus gram pa yan, di ba? Means, lalo na ngayon, no? So, 120 pesos per, per purchase, kung ilan pa kayo sa bahay, nalilibre ka pa, di ba? It depends pa yan. So, ang frequency mo per month is, that's four times a month. So, average, 480 pesos din yan. So, baka pwede mong bawasan yan, no? ATM fees, no? Yung tipong, ah, tinatamad ka na mag, mag uh, tumila, di ba? So, pwede mong bawasan pala yan. No? Gym membership, di ba? Pamember ka ng pamember ng gym, hindi mo naman ginagamit, di ba? Sayang! Okay? Bumili ka na lang ng mat or ng yoga mat sa miniso or sa umumuso o kung anong 
uh, so so man yan, okay? Bumili ka ng yoga mat, tapos doon ka sa bahay, tapos mag-download ka ng free app ng pang-exercise, okay? Instead na mag-gym membership ka, itipid mo na yan. So, 2,000 pesos din yung matitipid mo, okay? Depende pa yan, no? Uh, online subscription, no? So, 1,000 pesos yan per month. So, kung ma- makakahanap ka ng lesser subscription, no? Uh, pwedeng 500. Um, yan. Uh, ano pa? Online delivery, no? Uh, bawasan, bawas, bawasan natin yung online delivery, no? If hindi naman super kailangan, di ba? Um, lakarin mo na lang, di ba? Yan. So, 500 uh, times 4 is also 2,000 pesos per month. So, Um, these are just examples, no? Uh, again, itong mga gastos na to depends pa rin dun sa uh, personal preference ng bawat tao. May iba, uh, may ibang pinagkakagastusan, yung iba, uh, iba rin ang pinagkagastusan. But uh, what I encourage you to is have that column, no? Ano yung items na gusto nyong i-evaluate? Gano ka-frequent nyo siya binibili in a month? And magkano yung nagagastos nyo or total cost niya um, sa buong month na yun. And then, total mo yun. So, dito na, dito sa example natin, ang total niya, pag nabawas niya tong lahat ng to, makakatipid pa pala siya ng 5,040 a month. ba diba? 5,040 a month is not small. Okay? Malaki yan. Marami kang magagawa sa 5,000 a month. Alright? So, yan yung sinasabi natin na, yes, it's good to increase cash flow. It's good to Uh, it's good to have uh, extra sources of income. But also, we have to consider managing our expenses. Baka kasi naman, may gold dyan sa ilalim ng, uh, ng, ng expenses mo, hindi mo lang nahanap. Right? So, you have to make sure you manage your expenses. So, um, ayan, learn more about this by attending workshop number one, Increasing Cash Flow. So, uh, for the uh, members right here, uh, you could... Uh, uh, Kumbaga, go to that, uh, go to the your portal and then available sa atin ang workshop one, increasing cash flow. Alright, so I hope you're learning, no? I hope you're learning so much. Ayan. So, also, I just wanted to share you uh, with you itong money, monthly cost of living worksheet. This this is a more, ano, ah, this is a more uh, intricate or uh, a rather nitty-gritty part of a worksheet. Um... So yeah, so ang gagawin mo lang diyan, um, hindi ko na siya i-size eh no kasi baka bukas pa tayo matapos. So um, simple lang, uh, yung mga taxes mo, i-identify mo net income after taxes, um, less mo yung mga charity and all those things. Ano yung mga savings and investments mo, ilagay mo diyan. Uh, meron ka bang mga mortgages, sa housing, mga juice, mga uh, ano to, mga association juice and all. Sa so, food, ano ba yung mga pinagkakagastusan mo? So pwede yang gumawa ng worksheet and um dun sa mga members, this worksheet is available dun sa workshop 1 natin. Okay? For non-members, <laughs> dalawa lang yan. It's either, pwede ka magpa-member para ma- ma-access tong worksheet na to. Or number 2 is you can look for worksheets online. Like uh, financial worksheets online. Uh, Philippine setting, ha? kasi mahirap magkaroon ng worksheet na ano na US setting or other countries. So, so kung may makikita kayong Philippine setting na worksheet, go ahead. Okay? But I encourage you na member na lang kayo kasi lahat to kasama doon sa ano, sa workbook natin. Okay? Ano pa? Ayan, uh, tra- meron tayo dito transportation, uh, and then family, and then school, recreation, debts, personal uh, insurances or health, and all those things. Okay? So, iisa-isahin nyo talaga yan. So, this is, uh, this is really parang um, kumbaga your own uh, reflection or kumbaga yung yung self-check no, mo ng financial uh, status mo. Okay? And then after that, so na, na-identify mo yan, di ba? Hindi lahat kailangan lagyan mo kasi kung wala naman, hindi, what's the point, di ba? So, kung ano lang yung meron ka dyan, lagyan mo, and then after that, you do this one, income versus living expenses. So, ano yung net spendable income na meron ka, okay, right now, okay? And then, i-minus mo yung living expenses Uh, or yung total ng mga sinulat mo dito. And then, titignan mo ngayon, dun sa result or yung total, if meron ka bang surplus or meron ka bang papasok na cash flow or meron ka bang deficit na cash flow or negative ba yung cash flow mo. 
So this is one way of assessing uh, if your cash flow is papasok ba yung pera sa iyo or palabas yung pera sa iyo. Okay? Kasi importante alam natin 'yon. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumawa ng hakbang, hindi tayo pwedeng uh, gumawa ng strategy, okay? Unless na alam mo, no, sa sarili mo kumusta ba ang finances mo? Are you in a negative state or are you in a uh, surplus or positive uh, uh, state, no? So yeah, so that's how you compute for your uh, cash flow. To continue, uh, if you find this ano uh, this online money money forum very helpful and beneficial, de ba? So please do help uh to like our page sa Facebook. So wealth educator circle. So para din ma ano kayo continue malaman yung mga announcements, yung mga next topics to discuss. Also, we believe that um, learning is a pro, uh, is a lifetime process. So, kahit na matatanda na tayo or we're just we're already working, learning never stops. So, for for IMG members here, um, you can uh, log on your portals. Can you can um, attend sa ating mga workshops. So, different topics from different walks ng finances sa aspect ng finances. So these are just one of the many benefits of being an IMG member. So bukod dito Coach Knowles, may ano pa yung mga IMG benefits pa natin? Ayun, oo. And yan, nabanggit nga ni Elaine no, yung mga workshops na talagang uh, made online already dahil uh, talagang syempre we we want to protect each and every member na Um, syempre na, na mag-contact or nasa labas. So, workshops is online. All, lahat ng workshops is online. Also, no, um, once you become a member here in IMG, uh, you will have this portal. No? Itong portal, this is your go-to guide uh, dun sa mga yun nga, webinars online, yung access of, of tools and materials that you will need, um, of course, uh, in your journey, no? um, in in Uh, in fina- in your financial journey tanga and dito sa portal niyo makita niyo yun yung dashboard niyo so in dashboard niyo would uh, kumbaga would tell you na okay ito yung mga benefits that you have and what's good about this dashboard is that for example ayan yung IMG and Sol Devo fund you wanted to add no to your mutual fund account i-click mo lang yung add subscription and then everything is processed online no so hindi mo na kailangan lumabas hindi mo na kailangan Uh, uh, mag go to bank to bank just to you know deposit and all those things you can all do this uh, online so this is a platform that IMG you know prepared uh, two three years ago imagine before pa mag uh, pandemic um, IMG was already ready for these kinds of things so it's a one uh, click uh, uh, benefit that you have as a member of an, of IMG And so also, no. Um, if if you're interested or you wanted to know more on how to be a member of IMG, you know, you just ask the person who invited you here, um, and then they could give you a link. So dun sa link na yon, you could just click that, uh, become an IMG member, and then um, anjan yung ano, anjan yung um, forms automatically. So if you fill up mo lang siya online, and then also. Uh, pagdating doon sa payment options, may kita mo na dyan yung uh, code number mo because this code is unique to each IMG member. And of course, marami tayo no? payment options that you can choose from. Whether andito ka or nasa abroad, um, meron tayong uh, options that are uh, most convenient uh, para sa'yo. So, uh, di ba? Why, uh, why stop? Uh, learning no finances um, you could just be a member in IMG and kahit nasaan ka uh, you could learn and have these online courses and webinars um, at the at the tip of your fi- uh, comfort <laughs> of our homes comfort of our homes yan nama nawala na ako English sorry <laughs> okay. okay lang yan coach Knowles medyo malamig kasi eh Medyo alam mo naman pag malamig na kaka. <laughs> no, hinila na tayo na kung kama natin. But to add, to add dun sa sinabi ni Coach Knowles, diba? there, there are no excuses na. Katulad din sinabi ni Jury na um, knowing is not not enough. So we must apply. So why why not? Diba? Maybe this is this uh, membership is one way of applying yung mga natutunan natin. So aside from that, the portal for IMG as an IMG member, 
um, automatically meron ka na ding mutual fund account upon joining. So makakapag-start ka na sa kanang mutual fund um, investor. As well as kung halimbawa, um, if you are invited in this online money forum, Um, you can set up a financial checkup to, with the person who invited you. For example, um, si uh, si Ariel or yeah, from Bulacan. Um, he can have a financial checkup with Coach Knowles or let's say Alimbawa si um, Jennifer from Laguna. Um, invited by Andy, so they can have a financial checkup after this webinar or any scheduled this week, di ba? Para mas ma daman natin how we can really start and know yung cash flow natin, yung natutunan natin today. At marami pang iba. So, these are just some of the many benefits. Katulad na sabi ko, sulit na sulit. So, you can sir, set this as an investment as well. Ayan. Thank you so much, everyone. And, um, yun nga, I hope you learned something. And, um, yan, stay safe, stay, stay, yun nga, safe dahil malakas ang ulan and uh, see you next week. Bye-bye. Happy weekend. Bye-bye. Happy, weekend. Happy long weekend. Woo! Bye-bye. <laughs>